So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, me and Marlon made love. <laughs> if Gael says that shit one more time, it is so funny when she says that. Me and Marlon made love. I don't know why she keeps saying that. It's incredibly weird for her, in my opinion, to eat to. The, not me and Marla had sex because how are you and Marla making make love when when Marlon is married to your sister Gael? And they're making love. Y'all just having sex. Me and Marla making love. I just I can't take it. Every I wake up saying that. Every time I'm having a bad day, I say that and I just laugh. I just laugh because it's just so ignorant and the way she says it and just it's she's just so dense and just silly looking it's just i don't know it just makes my day but yeah it's love and hip-hop miami um so gael was finally able to tell her sister florence that um her husband allegedly has um another child and i think this child is older than the kids she has by him she's apparently officially done and, and whoop to whoop and you know i don't know i mean we'll see Gael is going on this, I guess, spiritual journey moment. And so she just wants to release all her demons. And um, that was one of them, one that she wanted to tell. And, and so bless her heart. Of course, um, uh, Marlon, he's denying it. And he's just like, you know, no, that's not the case. And whoop to whoop. So, I mean, we'll see. Hopefully, Florence is officially done. Whew, excuse me. Hopefully, Florence is officially done with Marlon, but we don't know. Do I think that she actually is? But, I mean, it don't matter. It, it don't matter. I mean, hey, she's been putting up with it for this long. I do think that that entire family has sold themselves to reality television. Um, you know, at least that's what I'm hoping Florence, I pray to God you haven't just been dealing with all this mess from from Moreland for this long. Just just cause. Just cause you in love, girl. I pray to God that is not the case. Oh child. But yeah, we're gonna pray for the um for all of them, uh, the Florences and things. Um, okay, so what else is going on? Who do I wanna go to? What, Ray J and Princess? We ain't seen them in a few episodes, I don't think. Um, they're just trying to get a little check everywhere they can get it. Um, I believe that they are in a business relationship at this point. I think that they love each other, but it's not... It's business at this point. If you notice, if you watch any of the Zeus shows, um, they're all on there. Um, Ray J and Princess as executive producers on certain shows. And, um, so, you know, they're just making a coin wherever they can get it and bless their heart. Um, cause I don't know what else Princess would do and, and Ray J music don't sell or, or whatever else. So, hey, get it how you live, child. Um, is anything going on with them? I don't think so. Besides that, uh, the Kardashian moment. Uh, apparently, somebody got extra sex tapes or something. We do, we don't even care at this point. It's so old and tired. And who cares about sex tapes in twenty twenty two? I mean, we can just go. I can just log on Twitter right now, and all up my line is is sex tapes. So I mean, and who cares, child? From celebrities and non celebrities. Hello. Um. So. Anyway, and, and now that tape is like, what, 20 years old, maybe? And it was tied and threw in. And I'm sure whatever extra footage they have, it's, it's going to be tied and through now. Nah. So, I mean, whatever. Um, What else is going on? Suki on with a good motherfucking cat. Suki, Suki, Suki. Um, Just really entertaining. Really entertaining. I have not... I heard one of her songs. It was a bop. I liked it. Um... I do wish her much success in the music industry. Um, but it, her getting out of that um, mode that she's in is, is going to be a little difficult um, for her. But um, I wish her the best. You know, she's very entertaining. She really is. Her and her dude, um, you know, they don't necessarily have the best 
relationship. Um, they don't really know how to talk to one another. Um, I think they joke back and forth and pick on each other a little bit. And sometimes the other one doesn't know when the jokes go too far or when what you're saying is actually hurting my feelings. Um, they they kind of just don't know how to communicate properly. But I do think that they love each other. But, you know, in the words of Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it? Um, and and Will is trying to get himself established and, and you know, become a rapper as well. Um, and, you know, right now he's just helping Suki out with everything. Eventually, that's going to... They're going to butt heads and they've already started to butt heads. So I do wish them the best, but is it going to work out in the long run? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. One thing I can say was that episode where the choreographer came on there. I think his name is Victor. I think I could be wrong, um, but I've seen him many times with Lady Gaga. Um, you know, he wanted Suki to get rid of her entire crew. And one thing I can respect about Suki is she said, nah, we all come from the hood. We all come from the same place. You know, you can't wanna um keep me and and then get rid of my crew. But on the other hand, business is business and if your girls are slowing you up, everybody can't come with you to the top. So I kinda see both sides. But for right now I do respect um Suki's stance on it. What else is going on? Um, let's see. What's going on with Amada? Amada, um, you know, she has her two beautiful twins by that dude. Um, and I didn't know that when Amada was with MJ, Shay's brother, um, MJ introduced Amada to her baby daddy. And apparently they ended up messing around, etc., I mean, shit happens. Uh, who's shocked by that? But the, but they ended up having that. Um, MJ apparently cannot get over Mar- Amada. He's still upset. Um, and they met up, and it's just a whole it's just a whole thing with them. Um, you know, Julian, which is used to be Trina's manager, and now was Amada's manager. Amada signed, signed a bogus contract with him, so she can't release no music for however many years, or he has the rights to her music and stuff, which is super sad, right? He's not even a producer or nothing. And so, um, I think in a later episode, she's going to try to meet up with him and see if she can do something. It's just awful. Julian is just a crook. He's a crook. Um, and, and it's as simple as that. Julian is also managing Shay. I mean, my God, if this guy has this reputation... Uh, being kind of a shady manager why would anybody want to still work with him I'll tell you why because the storyline hello um anyway he's working with Shay on on whatever you know MJ don't like Julian because Julian tried to hit on Amada and it's just a whole thing it's a whole thing so now MJ and Amada baby daddy um look like they gonna get into a fight or something soon so like child all these emotions emotions make you cry sometimes it's just like y'all y'all let it go mj in your hats let it go i do like mj though i I do i think he has a good heart for sure um just let it go child let him out of go lord knows that situation with her baby daddy's not gonna last that man is he don't give a damn we see that i mean hell um so yeah. Let me see. Oh, Shay. Shay still has not revealed who her baby daddy is. She don't have time to do nothing because Shay's trying to get her relationship with her mom stronger. Um, they mama is something else. Just very cold hearted, but we saw that when they were on Ayanla Fix My Life. Um that's why Shay attitude be so bad sometimes, because that mama. You know, um Shay has had her baby girl, um, who looks just like her. And um, her mom, she did not want to be in, in the delivery room with her daughter, which is so weird. Um, but she didn't want to be there. And, and, you know, we don't know what the daddy is or who's the father. But, um, you know, she ended up having a change of heart. And so all we can do is pray. Hopefully, Shay and her mother's relationship grows. Because, child. 
Um, what else is going on? Trick Daddy is super petty still. He's still harassing Joy, still going on interviews, talking crap about Joy. Um, and, you know, Joy's in a whole other relationship, possibly wants to get married to her new dude, but she can't. Trick Daddy's holding up the divorce process, and it's just sad. It's just sad. And, you know, Trick Daddy was the one that was um, the one who had pretty much all the finances when he was married to Joy. And, and so he's just, you know, he has that control, and so he's just being petty. He's just being petty and stupid. Um, it's, it's horrible. It's really sad. Everything that Joy is going through with your daddy. All because he want to be petty and childish. Um, let me see. We have Trina Day. Well, Trina has her own day. Trina was also awarded at the Hip Hop Awards recently. So congrats to Trina. Um, you know, Trina, Trina's an OG in the game. Um, so many songs of, of hers I, I enjoy. Um, and she is the queen of Miami. For sure. Um, her attitude is a little nasty sometimes, especially as it pertains to Bobby. I've been watching this show since it came on, since it premiered years ago, and she's always treated Bobby as less than her. And, um, you know, with this whole thing with um, Bobby falling out with her fiance, she chose her fiance. And look, we didn't see any footage. We don't necessarily know what happened. We just know. Um, Trina's fiance side and we know Bobby's side. That's it. Trina haven't really spoke much on it. I'm assuming that she was not present when the whole hit happened, when old boy hit Bobby or whatever. But anyway, um, Joy, Trina, and Bobby, they're sitting down having a conversation and, and talking and Trina was just like, oh, I just need a certain energy around me and, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, Bobby agreed and they was able to squash it. Um, I just don't like how it's always a self-servient thing. It's always a a thing of um, everybody else has to apologize to Trina. That she never apologizes to anybody, and it's an honor to be in my presence and all this kind of stuff. That you know, we can all have little cocky moments, but that don't mean you say it out loud. And, and then if you do say it, you know, it's just like you don't make a joke out of it. Make it, you know, so people are still not offended by it. Trina can't do that because in her mind she actually thinks that she is Queen Elizabeth. God rest her soul. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it is what it is, child. Congrats to Trina. Um, let me see what else is going on. Love and Hip Hop Miami. Is that it, y'all? I think that's pretty much it. If I missed anything of importance, please put it in the comment section below. And the thing that I really want y'all to remember is that me and Molly made love. With that said, I'm Mr. Chilaki. Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Eskins on Instagram and Twitter. At Eskins 89 on Snapchat. Chess King on Facebook. Mr. Chilaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.